okay so next is the epidural analgesia it's a uh, v11 a 57 year old woman in on your elective list for an open right hemicolectomy the anesthetic junior doctor has suggested to her that she should have an epidural for post-operative analgesia she's not sure whether she wants to have one and asked to discuss it with you what is epidural space epidural space is a space between the dura mater and the uh, vertebral and the and the vertebral bodies covered by posterior lumbar ligament and discs and laterally by a pedicle the intervertebral foramina and posteriorly by the ligamentum flavum and it contains only fat and small blood vessels so what are the indications of an epidural analgesia so adjunct to the ga to reduce the dose of requirement of opioids Mm, soul anesthesia and cesarean analgesia for childbirth post-operative analgesia and flail chest what drugs are used through an epidural and what are their side effects so local anesthetic agents and opioids fentanyl that reduce the local anesthesia requirement mm, and some people also use clonidine ketamine magnesium but rarely used and side effects include the nausea vomiting pruritus sedation reduced sensation of needing to urinate a retention of urine and delayed respiratory movements are intercostal motor blockage and respiratory center depression and hypotension how does an epidural work so local anesthesia blocks the sensory efferent nerve roots and reduces the transmission of pain it also causes a degree of sympathetic nervous system and motor blockage because central nervous system block causes the vasodilation and hypotension because the sympathetic nerve system chain runs from the thoracic uh, segment of the spinal cord till the second lumbar and reducing the infusion rate may improve and blood pressure and a high T1 and T5 block can affect the sympathetic nervous system cardiac fibers causing the bradycardia reduce stroke volume and further hypotension and opioids modulate the pain pathways by diffusing through the dura into the CSF to reach the spinal cord receptors spinal cord opioid receptors so what are the benefits of an epidural so it's a better analgesia decrease oral opioid intakes it reduces respiratory problems post op better git function due to the blocked sympathetic nervous system reduce dvtpe risk better blood flow and vasodilation and reduction in the thromboembolic factors and decrease surgical stress response what are the contraindications for the citing and epidural so absolute contraindication and relative contraindication absolute contraindications in sepsis at the site coagulopathy raised intracranial pressure and uh, patient refusal sepsis at the plant site coagulopathy raised intracranial pressure and the patient refusal relative anticoagulation systemic sepsis previous spinal injury uh, planned itu sedation and aortic stenosis cannot tolerate resulting the hypotension for patients on anticoagulant therapy when you can when can you insert and remove an epidural catheter so if someone is on uh, unfractured heparin so after 4 hours uh, after checking the aptt they can have the epidural if someone has a prophylactic dose of low molecular heparin then they can wait for 12 hours and someone has a therapy treatment dose of low molecular heparin they they should wait for 24 hours and if someone has platelets uh, um, more than 100 they can have it if i know less than 1.5 they can have it aspirin is not a contraindication epidural or insertion or removal what are the complications of epidural uh, catheter so there are four number one failure to achieve block or uh, partial block higher in obesity multiparity previous failure of the epidural and for partial blocks catheter withdrawn 1 to 2 cm reposition patient and try increasing the volume of infusion number two dural puncture total spinal block get headache Number three, infection can cause the abscess with the devastating CNS sequelae. So the recommendations are MRI of the spine and removal of the catheter. Hematoma, urgent spinal decompression to prevent the permanent CNS damage. What is the mechanism of hypotension in the epidural and what is the treatment? The mechanism blockage of the sympathetic nervous system it leads to the vasodilation and the treatment is to stop the infusion first and then followed by reduction of the epidural rate. Colloids to increase the blood volume and vasoconstriction if necessary. Vasoconstriction is vasopressor, not adrenaline. Thank you.